Hey guys, YouTuber100 here. Alright, and now here I am with another Pixar review. Now here's my review of Cars. Alright. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this movie. Yeah. A lot of people really seem to like it, but I don't. Yeah, I'm Nostalgia Critic said in his Disney December review for this movie, and yeah, he even like on the top, on the 10 films he hates that everyone else seems to love, this was on the list too. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I really don't like this film either. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was really like, this was the film that really made me like lose my interest in Pixar movies, yeah, I mean, yeah, this was really what started, like, my, kind of like my disinterest in Pixar, because, yeah, I was following every single Pixar film, um, th film at this time, and after this film, gosh, I mean, this is really what just started, that had me just, like, turn to another direction, and just stop following Pixar, yeah, I mean, I just really didn't like this movie, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just really haven't never been a fan of this idea of, like, like, motor vehicles coming to life. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid. I freaking hated J.J. the Jet Plane when I was a little kid. I never did like J.J. the Jet Plane at all. Yeah, I've just really never been a fan of this concept. Yeah, I mean, and I figure that maybe, like, with this idea from this film, I figured that maybe it could have been something like like maybe actual drivers for the cars, but no, I mean, it's like, the cars are alive on their own, and you know what I mean? It's like it, the entire world is full of cars, like, what? Yeah, I mean, I would like I would in Sasha Critic, I mean, I feel the exact same way about this idea that he does. It just really doesn't make any sense, I mean go from like toys to bugs to monsters to fish and then yeah one about that's focused on people yeah the Incredibles was the first Pixar film to actually be focused on people didn't talk about that in my Incredibles review didn't say anything about that yeah and now we go to freaking cars <laughs> I mean th this doesn't make sense I mean I remember as a little kid like my brother would have like these the like the white cars, these were like, these are like some cars that you can get at the Chevron gas station. Yeah, I've had, yeah, my brother like collected a crap load of these when he was a little kid, and yeah, I mean, I kind of like these, but yeah, just like the idea of like TV shows and movies, just, oh, I don't like the idea. And yeah, I thought that maybe, yeah, and since this was Pixar, I thought maybe they could like do something about it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I figured that this may be like, people actually driving the cars inside but no it's like the cars are driving themselves elves and like the entire world it's just a car world like what the hell yeah I mean so yeah that just doesn't make sense to me I mean the concept for this is just weird I'm not really a fan of the story for this I mean I really just don't like stories like this where the character is like trying to get somewhere and yeah pe people won't let him go Oh yeah, I mean, I just, I don't like this idea at all. I mean, I've just never been a fan of this story. Just, I do not like it. I mean, yeah, throughout this movie, like, Lightning McQueen, he has like a million of opportun million opportunities to actually escape, and yet he doesn't take advantage of any of the attempts. He just continues to stick around. Oh, yeah, I mean... I don't like this concept, and yeah, the characters really are not very interesting. I mean, I really don't care about the characters and what's going on with them. Yeah, and I really can't, don't remember, like, a lot of the characters' names. I mean, just like Lightning McQueen, in Matey, or Mater. Yeah, there's a, there's a Doc, there's Sally, and that's really all I know. I mean, everybody else, I'd have to, like, look up the cast list for them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The characters just really aren't that very interesting, and to be honest, I, they're not very memorable to me. I mean, yeah, just, I think Cars, the two Cars movies are Pixar's worst movies, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I just don't like, like, the movies, and yeah, I mean, this one, 
I'm just not a fan of it. I mean, yeah, I really didn't like... I really was, like, not very interested in it when I went to see it. I mean, yeah, I went to see it. I was, like, kind of, like, seeing, like, curious for this kind of anxious. Because, after all, this was Pixar. But, yeah, this just... Yeah, this really just didn't do it for me. And, yeah, like I said, this was really what started my, like... The stop paying attention to Pixar. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I would give this movie probably, I don't know. Two and a half stars out of four. Yeah, I mean, Cars just... Ugh. Yeah, a lot of people do like it, but it's just not for me, to be honest. So, huh. Yeah, and this movie, it's just filled with, like, a bunch of filler stuff, and it's really not that interesting. Like, it's just a bunch of stuff that we could have gone on without. Just, like, the stuff with lightning and mater and the stuff like him and sally i mean just it's just useless and pointless it's like it doesn't go anywhere really and yeah it's just like it has nothing to do with the plot for this and yeah it's really just most of this movie's just spent with like lightning and just bonding with all the other cars down at the town that he has to fix and yeah it's just just really not interesting and that's like the main focus of this film I mean if this film was more focused on like his race I probably would have liked this a lot more but just all the stuff with him at the town it's just oh man it's not interesting yeah yeah so all right yeah let me just get right into it I'm probably not really gonna have a lot to say about this because I mean just yeah it's just a lot of the stuff is just like useless and pointless Alright, so the movie opens with Lightning McQueen, who's a r rookie race car, and he's in a race, it's like a NASCAR style race, and he's in, yeah. Then at one point, when he goes to his pit crew, he doesn't want to get new tires, tires. he just wants a refill on gas, and yeah. And, yeah, I should also say, like, I do kind of like... Like how they did make a couple of references to Toy Story with these cars. Like you had the Dino Co, which was the name of the gas station in Toy Story. And yeah, on like the race car's tires, it said Lightyear, like Buzz Lightyear. So yeah, I did I did kind of like that, that they made a couple of Toy Story references to this. I mean, yeah, since yeah, you got something positive to say about this at least. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, Lightning McQueen, who was voiced by Owen Wilson. Yeah, he's in a car race, as I said. And yeah... Like I said, he didn't want tires, and then he continued after he had the refill of gas, and then, yeah. Then his, one of his tires blew out, as he was, like, had a huge lead in the race. And, yeah, and then he, like, he was really slowing down, trying to just rush to the, as fast as he can. And it turned out it ended up in a three-way tie with him and two other cars, who was a racing veteran, Strip the King Weathers. And then Chick Hicks. Hicks and yeah. Yeah. All three of them finished at the same time. Yeah, at least Lightning had to like he had to extend his tongue out in order to like cross the finish line line for the tie. And so yeah, it ended up counting and yeah. It ended up in a three way tie. And then yeah, they and then they said they had to have a tiebreaker race. Yes, in the next week eek in California. So, yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, anyway. And then, yeah, Lightning was then being taken to the California for the race who was, Ethan, he was in his, his, like, trailer truck to transport him, Mac, who was voiced by John Ratzenberger once again. Yeah. And Mac wanted to stop some place to sleep overnight, but Lightning just told him that they're gonna go all night to California. And then, yeah. And then, as Mac was driving overnight, he was starting to fall asleep, and Lightning was asleep in the trailer. And at one point, like, there were a bunch of other cars that were driving around Mac. And then, yeah, it caused like, Lightning to accidentally open up the door for the trailer, and then, yeah, he ended up falling out of the trailer and then yeah he was still asleep and then he woke up and realized he was in the middle of the road and he tried to catch up to Mac but he couldn't find Mac okay. 
Yeah. And then, yeah. And as he was going through the... Then he ended up, like, going right through the town of Radiator Springs where he just ends up running it down as he's being chased by a police car that he thinks is shooting at him, but really it's all just, like, like backfire from the police car. Or, and then, yeah, he just ends up driving right through the town of Radiator Springs and destroying it, and, and he ruined the pavement for the main road of it. And then he got caught, and then, yeah, the next morning he woke up and he was... He had a parking boot attached to him to prevent him from escaping, where he met the, he, like, really dumb tow truck uh, mater who was voiced by Larry the Cable Guy, and, argh, gosh, Larry the Cable Guy, I hate him, seriously, I mean, he's a comedian, but yet, he is not funny, just annoying, I hate Larry the Cable Guy, argh. Yeah, and yeah, as I said, Mater is not really smart, and he's stupid, yeah. And then he was taken to the car court. Huh? And at first the town judge, Doc Hudson, and who was voiced by Paul Newman, he was just gonna let Lightning go, but then... And another car, Sally, who was voiced by Bonnie Hunt, and convinced Doc... Uh, that Lightning should be given community service and just repave the road. And then, yeah, Doc agreed to it, and then he... He then sentenced Lightning to just, just fix the road, and he couldn't leave until he did. And then, yeah, Lightning tried to escape after... While Mater was trying to set up... Up Lightning to the pavement machine thing that they called Bessie and if he then yeah made her remove the boot before attaching lightning to Bessie and then yeah lightning tried to just speed off but then he ran out of gas yes <laughs> yes because yeah they like altered his gas as he was like sleeping yeah and yeah, and then yeah, he just ended up being attached though to Bessie. And yeah, he just realized that he couldn't, he wasn't going to be able to leave until he fixed the road. And so yeah, he tried to just repave it in a day. And yeah, he just like pulled Bessie down the road and just thus made the road all shoddy. Nutty. And yep. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, he was just telling them that he, since he's repaved the road, and he can go now, but Doc wouldn't, Doc wouldn't allow it. Allow it. And since Lightning was a race car, Doc challenged him to a race, where if Lightning won, he could leave, and they'd repair, repave the road themselves. But if he lost, then he would have to redo it their way. And so, yeah, then they had the race in dirt, and then, yeah, Lightning then just, like, fell off of the racetrack, the, the track they were racing on on the dirt, yeah, because he had problems, like, turning on the road, on dirt, and then, yeah, and, of course, that forced him to lose, and then, yeah, he had to redo the road again, and, yeah, and, yeah, this, yeah, like I said, the focus was just, like, yeah, it was just way too much time, like, wasted on this, when, yeah, seriously, they could have had, like, the focus be on his race, as I said, and, yeah, this movie probably would have been better, but, yeah, just, the stuff with this, I mean, the pavement, just him wasting time with all the other cars here at Radiator Springs. I mean, it just, it just feels like a waste of time because it doesn't go anywhere. It's like they were just trying to fill the time with whatever they could get, and it just, yeah, it just wasn't interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During the time as he's running the road, he's bonding with some of the other cars. Yeah, he's bond. He bonded with Mater and Sally and yeah, with all the other cars. Yeah, yeah. At one point, point like uh, during one night, like Mater took you know, lightning to like yo know, tractor tipping. <laughs> yeah, and what they were doing was just trying to scare tractors to get them to fall over and yeah, just waste of time. And then yeah, he's bonding with 
Sally, yeah, they're like falling in love and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, just a complete waste of time. And then, yeah, then eventually Lightning discovers that Doc was was once a racer himself, and he was known as the Fabulous Hudson Hornet, and he was a three-time Piston Cup winner, and yeah, the Piston Cup was what his race was for. Yeah, the race Lightning is going to for, yeah, this is what, what the prize is, yeah, the prize is the Piston Cup. And yeah, he tries to tell the other cars who Doc is, but the other cars don't believe him. And yeah, and yeah, he tried to confront on Doc about it, and he was asking him why he quit, and then yeah, Doc showed Lightning that the reason that he's no longer racing was because he had a wreck, and he was forced to go into retirement. And yeah. Yeah, and yeah, he was just like, yeah, and then yeah, Lightning just like was telling asking Doc why he's having the cars believe that he's why has he's he hasn't told the other cars that he is who he is and that he's going to be somebody else yeah and yeah Doc just didn't talk to Lightning about it yeah and then one then yeah Lightning then eventually did finish the road oh oh yeah and yeah, then yeah, then Lightning was able to leave for his race. Hey, so, anyways, but then yeah, he was just trying to bond with the other cars, or before he left. And yeah, the cars like, I like, gave him like an hand. Well, they gave him like new look. They switched his tires, and yeah, they like repainted him like to have a metallic gloss to him and stuff. And yeah. And then eventually, like, the members of the race media press and Mac arrive at Radiator Springs, and, yeah, they found lightning, and, yeah, they were all trying to talk to him, and Mac then showed up, yeah. And, yeah, lightning was just saying goodbye to all of the cars, and then, yeah, he was then of, and loaded up into Mac, and, yeah, he was driven off. And, yeah, we... And then it was like revealed that Doc was the one that actually called the media and told them where Lightning was and took him away. And yeah, the other cars weren't happy about him. Yeah. And then eventually Lightning was then taken to his his r race track. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, during the race, like Lightning's mind was just more on all of his friends than it was the race. And yeah, it just caused him to on the last place in the race and then yeah then yeah yeah and then lightning saw that doc was actually like part of his like part of his pit crew along with mater and some of the other cars yeah and yeah and then yeah that then got lightning back on track in the race Ace, yeah. and then yeah Hicks was trying to, you know, like, like take out Lightning and the King, and so he could win the race. Here's you. Yeah, and then at one point, point, Hicks actually, she like bumped King hard and just put him in like a really bad spin and caused him to just flip over several times. And yeah, Lightning was about to cross the finish line, and then he saw that. Then he just stopped, and that allowed Hicks to win the race. And yeah, and yeah, Lightning just told the King that he should actually finish his last race, and then yeah, Lightning just pushed the King down the finish line, allowing him to finish the race. And yeah, as Hicks was being presented the the Piston Cup. Everybody was just booing him. And yeah. And yeah, Lightning was actually offered. Offered, like, the sponsorship deal for Dynaco, but he declined and he wanted to stay with his current sponsors as appreciation for support. Or, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then, yeah, eventually Lightning then went back to Radiator Springs. 
Mm, yeah, he said that he's setting up uh, his own headquarters there to put like radiator springs back on the map. And then, yeah, it showed like him putting like a chill or Mater in a helicopter because, yeah, Lightning promised Mater or something that he would would be able to be in a helicopter one day and so yeah and yeah and then he just like drove off with Sally and yeah that's how it ended <sighs> so yeah like I said 2.5 stars out of 4 yeah this yeah I just really am not a fan of this movie really don't like it very much and yeah I know a lot of people do so yeah enjoy what you enjoy but yeah this film just not one of my favorite yeah this is just like not for me and yeah really say that the Cars movies are the probably Pixar's worst movies, and yeah, really not looking forward to getting to the sequel. So yeah, all right. So yeah, all right. So yeah, that does it for my review of Cars. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.